adventure, Boris. We have uh, the recipe that I'm making here today is uh, sesame, so that'll be the kind of tahini base. You need about a cup of that, so I'll put that in. You want to start it dry and grind it up. If you have tahini, that's an option you can use just straight tahini. It would probably be about uh, three, maybe tablespoons, depending on the quantity you want to do. So I'll run that a bit and let them crush. You can uh, shake it around to get them better in there. About 10, 20 seconds. to get from the sides if you don't have a big quantity. Once you're happy with the consistency, we'll probably do another run quickly and then and then we put our liquids the second run. So now for the liquid we have the juice of about a lemon or a lemon and a half depending on the size of lemon and the quantity. And then also about uh, one or two hundred grams, depending on the quantity you're running. So everything here is by eye, but zucchini is the other juicy part. So you can cube it, and if you have a strong blender, it should get it processed well. And also about a tablespoon worth of cumin. So I'll try to measure it out. Lemon. And now you can use the temper, the temp sometimes they call it, and we'll try to run it maybe about 20 seconds. I got another ingredient that I really like is chili. So we have chili from the land here. Also these lemons are from the land. So put that in. And then another ingredient I'm going to try today is just to add some creaminess with soaked cashews. Soak them about uh, three hours minimum. I think I did about six here. And I actually drained it once and added some more water. I'll drain the other water. Maybe first actually I'll try it without the cashews and see how it tastes. So I'll run it up. So now I'll just see how it tastes. Yeah, I do want to try the cashews actually. Oh, and I have a bit of ginger. I'm going to experiment with some extra spices. camera so it's got consistency is pretty nice. I don't know how well you could see in the camera zooming in. Yeah. Zoom in a little. Mm -hmm. And this will go great for some zoodles or cucumber noodles. So if you find a tool like this we could uh, show you in the next step on how to make the zoodles. So the second part is the zoodle, so we got a cucumber. This one's from the market, but I grew plenty here. We'll probably grow some more. So we'll just peel that because the skin tends to be tough on the ones that grow in this area. So this is the part with the cucumber zoodle.
we got some greens from the garden here. This is katuk, the sweet leaf. another fruit adventure from the Amazon jungle in Ecuador. Cat like Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> want to try things like this at the Amazon Fruit Festival at Terra Frutis, our sister community, just an hour away. In January 20... no, 16, 17. <laughs> have to edit it. <laughs> Amazon Fruit Festival from January 17. <laughs> 